today I've done my Valentine's Get Ready With Me. It's basically just a soft, bronzy, glowy glam that I would do like any day of the year, but it just so happens that this weekend is Valentine's and it is perfect for that because I love like a soft, neutral, like nude lip, like glam, glowy, bronzy, goldy, yeah, all them words. Want to be like a goddess. That is my vibe. Whatever you are celebrating this year, whether it's Valentine's or Galentine's, you just need to remember this day is one day out of the whole year. And you know, if you haven't got a Valentine, I will be your Valentine or Galentine. You got me, gal. You got me. It's all good, we got each other. So if you do want to join me for my get ready with me for Valentine's Day, then please keep watching. And you are about to see a very not done up, raw, pale version of Lizzie in three, two, one. Here she is, the real life Lizzie Pope with no makeup on. Hello. Joined by my co-host Sandra the Spot, currently residing on my forehead. Not by any choice of mine, but anyway. So I'm just going to start by tying my hair back with this scrunchie, which I'm absolutely obsessed with at the minute. I keep wearing it like all the time. It keeps making an appearance in like every Instagram photo. If you don't follow me, definitely check out my Instagram and you'll see the scrunchie in basically every photo. Literally, I found this the other day from like years ago. And you know when you dig something out and you're just like, do you know what? That's a bit of me. Why did I have so many years apart from you? Like literally just before, I was thinking, what should I put on for my get ready with me? And then I pulled out this shirt, like night shirt that I got from Primark sometime last year. I was like, do you know what? That was a really good buy. Like how Victoria's Secret does it actually look? Like I love it so much. And I've seen ones that are like exactly the same in Victoria's Secret. Primark just come through. I miss Primark so much. Can anybody else really? I cannot wait for it to open again. Definitely gonna do like some come shop with me some Primark hauls and stuff like that. Super exciting stuff guys. I'm not joking, it's so windy outside today, so I'm sorry if you can hear like the weather. Um, it's literally like a sandstorm and it's snowing, it's mad and like I don't know what is actually going on, but like the snow is actually building up. We've not had like proper, like a lot of snow in Liverpool here, like not like the rest of the country, so it's mad. It's like sandy but it's snowing, it's like, what is going on? I feel like I'm very pink today, got my pink scrunchie, my pink nightshirt, pink water bottle with my name on it, love that for me. And all because it is Valentine's. Now I'm not one of these girls that do like a proper like bright pink lip or like a bright red lip on valentine's i do wear red lipstick but literally like two times a year like in december for like christmas that's probably the only time of the year that i wear red lipstick the rest of the year i literally just do like a soft glam bronzy glowy golden with like a nice nudie pinky lip and that is like my favorite go-to so that is what i'm going to be doing today if you can see this mirror here slightly it's because i'm completely blind like i don't know how girls do their makeup by looking in the viewfinder like i literally can barely see myself at all so how are we all i hope that you are all keeping well this wonderful weekend what are you up to for valentine's have you got any plans let me know down in the comments below i would love to know what you got planned so i have already prepped my skin by the way 
using my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I did my skincare routine this morning when I got out of the shower. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just start putting my makeup on my face. So I like to start with the P. Louise base. It is literally my favorite eye base in the whole entire world. I literally wonder what this makeup is gonna come out looking like because you guys are gonna have seen the intro to this video where I'm like fully done up and done all my makeup before I've even seen it, how magical. So I'm just going to start placing this just under my eyebrows. I honestly feel like this is like a makeup look you could do like whenever, like I would wear this to go for brunch, to go and do my Tesco shop, whenever really, it's just like my go-to soft glam and I love it. I'm not really into like really structured glams. I like quite a soft, natural, glowy kind of makeup. Then I'm just gonna blend that in using my good old Real Techniques Beauty Blender. Just also going over lovely Sandra the Spot. Honestly, I did my makeup yesterday for some photos and I swear to God, like, you could see this spot on my forehead, like, from another planet. Like, I swear to God, like, it stuck out like a sore thumb. Even, like, with my makeup on, I was like, oh my God, like, how is this happening? <laughs> I never usually get spots there either, so I'm like, why have you come into my life now, Sandra? Like, please leave get myself a sip of water hydration is key queens I don't know why I've just found myself not drinking enough water at all recently I'm just not in like a routine of any sort at the minute I just feel like lockdown's completely <laughs> ruined any kind of routine I had going on but here is hoping that things are going to start you know going back to normal soon you know the vaccine's been rolled out and i think cases are like dropping and they're saying about opening the gym so oh my god it would make me so happy even if the gym's just opened just having like a little bit of a sense of something normal would just be amazing and it would help so many people so because this is just like a soft glam i'm just gonna go straight in with my foundation so i'm using the airbrush flawless foundation by charlotte tilbury this is one that i've been using for like the past probably about four or five months and i really do like it it's in 7.5 neutral so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and put this on my face one thing I really do highly recommend if you do get this foundation is please purchase a pump with it because as you can see it comes out like a little scoop but honestly it's really difficult to get this from my face without dropping it on everything. Like the amount of foundation that I've accidentally dropped in like my makeup drawer is ridiculous. <laughs> I should probably get myself a pump. You know I'm advising people to get a pump. I've not even got one myself, I've had it for four or five months, what am I doing? I need to buy myself a pump. Just taking my Beauty Blender from Beauty Blender, would you believe? <laughs> um, and just going to blend that into my skin. I'm just taking it down my neck as well. Because your girl is pale, even with a fake tan on. <laughs> Covering Sandra there as well. Honestly, this is like such like an easy glam. Like, anybody can do this. It's going to be really, like, easy to follow along. So, don't worry. It's not going to be complicated at all, my gorgeous queens. Wonderful. Foundation is on. Let's move on to the next step. So, I'm using the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I really love this. It's so full coverage. And it just completely brightens your under eyes. It's so like thick, it's such a good product. I'm trying to like look at myself in the viewfinder so that you can see what I'm properly doing, but honest to God, it's like, honestly, it's like I was to do my makeup with a blindfold on. Like I can't see what I'm doing, like literally right now. <laughs> like God help me.
wonderful. So next I'm going to go in with my Huda Beauty, this is very used, um, it, I think it's called the Tantor and it's in shade light, so I'm just about to go in with that. I just want to say thank you so much for all the support on my recent videos. I can't tell you how much it really does mean to me, honestly. Every comment, every like, every subscriber, literally, like, thank you so much. And I really do hope that you are liking the videos that I'm putting out. Please do let me know, you know, if there is anything that you'd like me to do, like, any more kind of makeup related videos or holes, challenges, definitely put them down in the comments and let me know. Okay girls, I also like to go over my lids with the cream contour product just to make them super like glowy. I love like the glowy bronzy look. Oh, she's looking a little bit made up now, isn't she? Looking a bit more human-like. I honestly feel like I make like such a mess when I'm doing my makeup. Like it gets everywhere and I'm like, how did that happen? This is another thing that I'm absolutely excellent at is losing brushes when they're right in front of me and I'm literally like, I, I can't find what I'm looking for, but it's there, but I can't see it. So then I'm just gonna go, oh, my hair's getting in my face. So I'm just going to go back under where I put my concealer with the beauty blender and blend that out again before I put some powder there. I don't really like using like a lot of powder at all to be honest because I don't like it to be too matte like and it's not like I'm actually going anywhere do you know what I mean I'm only realistically what? I'm really realistically going to be sat around the house really so I'm literally just going to tap oh this is the peach perfect powder by Too Faced it's my favorite one ever and I swear to god it lasts such a long 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 time like I buy one of these like once a year so I'm just literally going to place it under my eyes really lightly not going to be doing any baking today, gals. I mean, I might bake some cookies. Maybe, but not baking. Not baking with powder today. Just tend to keep it really light. And not use much product at all. I suppose that's why it lasts such a long time. Next, I'm going to go in with my Hourglass Bronzer. I absolutely love this product. I've had this for a good year or so now as well and it's still going strong, still absolutely loads left in that and it is honestly one of my favourite bronzers I've ever used. Would you look at that? We're going to be like bronze goddesses, honeybee. Sometimes I literally use this like in my crease, which I might do today, as well as use like some other brown shades. And then again, I'm just gonna go across my lids with this. Wonderful. Do you know what? I need to stop saying wonderful because I literally say it after every step of this video. I'm like, that's done. Wonderful. I need to find another word. Like, honestly, like, come on, Liz. Get your thesaurus out. Get your dictionary. You need to find another phrase. Next, I'm going to go in with my favourite blusher. It's from this palette that I got from MAC. I think it's called, like, the shiny pretty things. Shiny pretty little things or collection or something like that it, it was from like a couple of years ago when I did a makeup course and I got this as like part of my little thing with my certificate to say I've done it and whatever and it, it's honestly like my favourite blusher ever like look at this it's so shiny I honestly 
I want to get another one like exactly the same because as you can see I've literally used it to death there is still product there but I am in need of a replacement I do like quite a lot of blush I just think it makes your skin looks super healthy and even more glowy I love to put this on my temples and just like on my nose blush it everywhere am I right then I'm gonna move on to highlight to where I realize I've not done my eyes yet I am gonna do them in a min so I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty light wand I literally like squeeze this and then just dab my finger on the top of it and then place it just like on the cheekbone there and blend it in with my finger I'm sure there might be like a better way to do this but this is just what I do and uh, you know it works how natural and beautiful and glowy does that look this is why I love this product I do go on top with another highlighter because you can never have a rough highlighter although but this would be nice even to wear like with no makeup you know when you just got like a moisturizer on but you want like a little bit of a glow it would be so pretty or even with like tinted moisturizer oh how stunning is that just admiring myself in my zoom mirror here guys if anybody is as blind as me i really do recommend these oh i'm so clumsy i literally just hit this off my mirror like i need to be more careful just trying to find another brush that i can't see again everybody so i'm gonna go in with my doll beauty highlighter duo so i literally just go between these two shades oh we are glowing hi bees what a glowing queen i just feel like you can never have a north highlighter like ever well yeah you can you can you can go overboard but we're here for it then my secret for blending the highlighter into the skin to make sure that it's like a really seamless finish is going back into my blusher and patting on top of it really to blend it in to the skin because we want a flawless face and there you have it what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in with the lighter shade of the Doll Beauty palette and put that just in the corner of my eyes so that I don't forget because I tend to forget this step. I don't know why it's one of my favourite steps. And sometimes I forget it. Okay, so for my eyes I'm going to be using the Clientele palette if that is how you say it uh, this is by be perfect cosmetics and i love this palette so much i use it pretty much every time i do my makeup my favorite shades are sandy and dirty tan and that's kind of what i'm going to be using today so i'm just going to go into shade dirty tan and just tap that really lightly just blend that into my crease and kind of wing it out a little bit because I don't want this too dark. I don't really want like a really dark eye. I want it to be quite bright. Do you know what I mean? And I'm going to go into shade Sandy. Which is a bit of a lighter tone. It's so pretty. Next I'm going to go back into my Doll Beauty highlighter. And take the darker shades with a little eyeshadow brush. And then pop that on my lid. Look how golden that is how beautiful so i'm gonna put that pretty much all over my lid how pretty then i'm gonna take my little what is this called it's by charlotte tilbury i think it's called color chameleon and it is in champagne diamonds and i'm gonna go over what i've just done there with the highlighter on my eyes with this just to intensify it a little bit more. In fact, I feel like this needs sharpening. One sec, guys. We go again. I love this so much. Then I'm just gonna take that blending brush and kind of blend that 
a little bit more. So then I'm going to take Sandy again and just put this just slightly underneath my eyes here, really lightly. I must look in my zoom mirror doing this step, my gorgeous queens, because otherwise you guys are going to be left with one eye because I'll put my eye out. Ta-da! Did you see I was trying to think of another word apart from wonderful, but ta-da came out. I'm not even bloody finished. Then just to intensify this look slightly, I'm going to take a shade too much, which is like a dark brown with a little, I don't even know what this brush is called. I call it like a little stubby brush. Um, and then I just put that just here as like a kind of like a smoky liner type thing but just like the tiniest little bit because I don't plan on wearing lashes so I feel like this makes it like a little bit more kind of glam a little bit more like smoky okay fab that part is done now then I'm just gonna brush my brows up with the Urban Decay Brow Beater I've literally used this for absolute years now and it is my favourite brow product. Although I do feel like Urban, oh, I just kicked my tripod. Sorry, everybody. Um, I have a tendency of doing that at the minute. I did that like a couple of videos back. Like, <sighs> I'm so clumsy. Um, but anyway, back to talking about Urban Decay. Do you know what I was about to say, Urban Outfitters? <laughs> Come on, Lizzie. Um, yeah, I think that they changed this product up because it used to be so much more fine than than that. It used to be like a tiny little pencil, but now it's kind of like a bit thicker and I'm, I honestly prefer like the old version. So, Urban Takaya, I don't know what you've done, hun, but um, can I have the other version back, like the Brow Beta, like the OG Brow Beta? That is my favourite one. So, I'm just going to fill in my brows now using the brow beater okay everybody i have eyebrows now fantastic so i'm just going to brush them up again using a little spoolie bit of the brow beater then i'm going to go in with a little brow gel that i've had for absolute donkey's years from urban decay as well just to kind of set the brows in place i love like a big fluffy brow I like that laminated effect and I've not had my eyebrow lamination done since the start of December. Same with my LVL. That's kind of why I've been like not really wearing lashes that much and I'm not going to wear them today. It does need me doing but I think I prefer at the minute like I prefer the kind of no lash look like natural lashes like that's what I'm about at the minute. That is kind of what I'm about at the minute, my girls. Do you know what I mean? I really feel like that wind has kind of calmed down. Oh, no, it hasn't. I just heard like a big gust of wind. I spoke too soon. I jinxed the universe. I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. I want to do it again. Literally, do you ever like get to that point in your makeup routine and you're just like, what do I do next? Like, oh, my God. Hang on everybody. I'm having a bit of a day today. It is okay, the mascara survived. So I'm just gonna use the Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes again by Charlotte Tilbury. I really love this mascara. I think it's like the best one I've ever tried. It's got like a double-sided wand. So like you place like the flat part of the wand on your lashes first and then you like bring it through your lashes with like the, the other bit. Like there's a special technique to it. It's very exciting, everybody. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now and look in my zoom mirror and not poke my eye out. And there we have it, everybody. Two eyes complete. I'm going to go on to using my favourite new lip combination from Doll Beauty. I was using, like, the same lip combination for, like, the longest time from KKW, but honestly, like, I got it as a birthday present last year and... I've used it like pretty much ever since like and it's lasted a while but like I just don't want to pay for like customs and stuff like that when you can get basically the same thing from like a UK brand like Doll Beauty. So I'm taking the Boy Buy lip liner and I'm going to put that on. 
that is like a true like brownie nude and I think it's really pretty oh I just pulled the lid off by accident and got it all over my nails somehow honestly like why am I like this I swear to god then I'm gonna take the dolled out lipstick from doll beauty which is like a really nice nudie pinky shade it is so pretty it complements this lip liner so much like I say it's my new like go-to favorite nude lip combination you thought that was it no no it's not I'm going in with a gloss as well I'm a glossy girl have we got any glossy girls here I'm not really here for like a matte lip although this isn't matte this is more like a satin but we want to be glowing to like the gods so I shall be using gloss today this again is by Doll Beauty. It is the one and it's called Sponsored. I just feel like those three products work so nicely together. Then the last thing that I'm gonna use is the Urban Decay All Night Satin Spray. This is literally like my favorite satin spray ever. It's so good. Honestly, like it sets your face so good and it lasts all night. Not I'm going anywhere. Only my living room, but you know, we're in lockdown. It's okay. We don't need to go anywhere. We can, you know, do our tan. We can look glam. We can sit in our bedroom and watch Gogglebox. We can do whatever we want. I really hope that didn't go on the camera. I've got like a really bad habit of getting this like all over my mirror so I wouldn't be surprised if I got it all over that camera as well. If I did, I'm awfully sorry. Oh God, I'm knocking everything over. That's not like me, is it? I'm not really gonna do anything to my hair. I washed it this morning so it's kind of like fresh and curly. So I'm just kind of leaving it as it is really. So I just fluffed my hair up just a little bit so it looks a bit more alive I'm kind of tempted to put this scrunchie in but I just washed it and it looks fine down so I'm just going to leave it like this so that is the look completed this is just basically a soft glowy bronzy golden glam and I'd literally wear it for like any kind of event of the year I'd wear it for my birthday I'd wear it for Valentine's Day like this weekend I'd wear it to go and do my Tesco shop whatever whatever the weather this makeup look will have you back so I hope that you did enjoy this video my queens I really appreciate all of your lovely wonderful words of support on my channel it really does mean so much to me so if you did like this video please please do give it a thumbs up i massively appreciate it and if you're not already subscribed please join my queen community and hit that subscribe button you can be a queen with me and everybody else and all the queens because we're all queens so come on honey join the party anyway thank you so much for watching and taking time out of your day to watch this video i really hope that you did like all the products that i've used and the finished results so i will see you all very soon on my channel again in my next video see you soon queens bye